Okay, so when you come to the office, we're going to get a new toothbrush and a new toothbrush toothpaste. At home, you will use that same toothbrush and the same tube of toothpaste. Toothbrushes, um, when you come every six months, we're going to give you a new one. How do we know when to change a toothbrush? If it's before the six months, is if the bristles on your brush begin to splay or they begin to spread apart. Then we know it's time to change your toothbrush. Toothpaste, the tube says a uh, pea size. On the tiny ones, uh, the ADA used to say, wait until age five. The tube says age five or six. We are now saying brush their teeth with fluoride as soon as the teeth erupt. Now, we're not going to use a pea size on the babies. We're just going to use, we're pretending this is a baby toothbrush. It's a tiny little smear of toothpaste, just enough to get a little bit of fluoride on their de developing dentition. We don't need a lot of toothpaste, even for Gabriella. That's all I need. What we will do is on, so we're going to have her clothes together and we're going to pretend she's younger. <laughs> and we're going to use circles. See, so we're going to brush the parts of the teeth that we can see, but we're also coming up to the gum line. You were coming to the gums all the way around. And we're going slowly in a circular fashion. When you get all the way back here, we're going to have it open a little bit, just a little bit, so we can wrap around with the bristles behind those back teeth. Those are hard to reach. And we want to close a little bit because it relaxes this muscle, the masseter. <laughs> and it helps get this bone, the zygomatic arch, out of the way. So if she's open really wide, as wide as she can, see that? restricts my movement of the toothbrush. So I wanted to close a little bit so that I can manipulate this toothbrush a little bit better. So I'm going to scrub a little bit, just a little bit at a time, two teeth at a time. And when I'm closed, I'm going to do circles. Kids, when you're brushing, I'd like for you to do circles. We're gonna save the scrubbing for your mom and dad or when you're bigger like 13, 14, 15, when you can move the toothbrush a little bit easier. We say brush for at least two minutes. And we say, gosh, two minutes seems like a long time. Most songs are about two minutes. So check out your iPod and look for a song that lasts about two minutes. For the babies, it can be Baby Shark because that is such a fun song. <laughs> uh, for the older kids, I'm not sure, look for a song that you like. And then just hum along to it and brush until it's all over. And if you need a little bit more time, that would make me super duper happy. We just want to make sure all the plaque comes off. Now, problem area for a lot of us is in this canine area right here because we brush here and we brush there. But we forget about this this guy or just that it has to be angled properly so that you can get there so i'd like for you to try to pay attention to that too because so many of us miss there another area that we miss a lot is down here between the tongue and these back teeth so some of us have a gag reflex that's very sensitive we just want to slowly get this brush down there and just scrub a little bit you don't have to go all the way back. You just want to make sure that the bristles are at the gum line on the inside of those teeth and then work your way forward. I think these front teeth are tricky and they're messy and so we can brush this way. Honestly, I'm going to say move your toothbrush however you need to move it just so that you can get it back there. So I do this and then I also do this and then sometimes I just have to wiggle it around until it feels nice and clean back there and you can tell when they feel clean because they feel really nice and smooth I'm gonna get here on the inside see her tongue she has to move her tongue out of the way so that the bristles can reach down on the inside of those teeth and you can spit <laughs> up here we're going to clean on the chewing surface right the chewing surface all the way around these front teeth, again, 
we're going to brush back and forth this way. You can also do this. And remember the, the corner, the canine, because if we're doing this, we can see we do this and we do this and this one gets left behind. And you can go over it again. And I will say again, whatever pattern that you can use to get that plaque off, that works. It's more a matter of placing the bristles in the right place, which is the tooth and the gum line, because we need to brush our gums as well, and spending enough time doing it. Because if we're rushing, if we rush, we miss a lot of that plaque. So, I'll say that's the art of brushing. <laughs> I wish you all luck. Parents, you're doing a great job. I know most of you, when you come in, um, are very eager to have us teach your kids and review proper brushing. Um, and we're very excited about that. So while you're at home, kids, please brush every morning and every night. And if you could do it in the middle of the day also, that would be awesome. The more often you brush, the less risk of decay that you have. Please spit out your toothpaste, do not swallow it, rinse well. And the main things are just a little bit of fluoride. You don't need a lot. You just, after you spit, that fluoride will linger on your teeth. The fluoride in the toothpaste, it what helps your teeth that are demineralizing or starting to break down from sweets, uh, starches, all the stuff that's not good for us, to remineralize or harden back up. So fluoride has um, molecules in it that help your teeth to recover from the insults of not brushing or drinking things that are yummy but not necessarily good for our teeth. Okay. Have a good day, stay safe, stay well, and hopefully we'll see you within the next few weeks to a month. Bye.